back at it again in on shape and this time we are here for text so this is a really cool tool if you are trying to write like your name on something if you're engraving a brand name okay so the text tool is on the sketch toolbar up at the top next to the point which nobody's really worried about right now so when you first click it you can create a text box and this will determine the size of your text so if I make it like really big then it's gonna be filling that space. So then enter your text instead of default text. So we're going to say STA. Woo. Um, it shows up in gray and white. Now when you change the font or anything, that will affect how it looks in gray and that's what it will actually look like in your design. So we use the drop down. Let's use that. See it changes the font. We can make it bold. And then you can also flip it if you're doing say a stamp or like some kind of mold, then you might want to flip it so that letters would read differently. But being as these are probably going to be for 3D printed items, I wouldn't worry about that right now. Alright, so then once you are happy with how it looks here, you accept it, and then it'll show up in your box. Now you can move that around just by clicking it, left mouse, and dragging it. Uh, once you are happy with your lettering and all that, you can accept your sketch and treat it just like any other sketch entity. So if I wanted the S and T and A to be dimensional, I can go into extrude and that will make them a solid item. It doesn't look like very much because they are on a really large scale right now. So let's make it 15. Yeah, you get the idea. So there it is. That's text. Uh, have at it. The world is your oyster.